when rappers went one on one with Lil Wayne at his peak. This is Fresh Hip Hop Opinion, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, alright? Let's get into it. Coming in at number 5 is Eminem with No Love. This was off Eminem's recovery album that came out in 2010 and amongst the collaboration with the Detroit MC. I personally didn't like the song but you were absolute muppet if you didn't realize how epic this collaboration was. Wayne went first, dropped his typical one-liners, slow flow, not much energy in his raps though I must say, but he still had those slick one-liners. The beat was crazy bad, I didn't like the beat, but it had that energy. Eminem came in for the second verse and tore it down, let's keep it real. Wayne was ad-libbing Eminem's bit so it made it sound a bit more epic, the instrumentation went a bit higher as well. It was a good song, did well in the charts and for me I thought Eminem got Lil Wayne on this one, only just, but Eminem put a lot more energy in his verse and like I said Wayne ad-libbing and the instrumentation going up a level gave Eminem a better performance. Coming in number 4 is Kanye West, Barry Bonds on his graduation album in 2006. The song starts with a Kanye intro, Kanye goes straight into his first verse, good flow, good lines, kind of dropping punch lines with it as well, which isn't necessarily a Kanye West thing. Probably the classic line on this for me was when he goes, and bow so hard till your knees hit your forehead. Mmm. Then Kanye had the second verse as well, and then Wayne came in for the third verse, and punchlined it in typical Lil Wayne style and then Wayne had that raspy voice that he sometimes does probably his classic line on this one is his the Megan Good line who got the best out of who on this one it's kind of like a tie but I would I would just shade Kanye but saying that Kanye had two verses but that can you can kind of say this one's a draw coming in number three is Drake of HYFR you know what it stands for and it's off Drake's 2011 sophomore album Take Care which most people consider his best album. Drake started off the song the flow was cr cr crazy crazy good stuck to a theme it was a really strong verse one of my favorite verses from Drake. Wayne came in with the second verse again a strong start for Wayne on the verse the track was crazy very energetic but who got the best of who on this song? I don't know. I feel like for Drake, because of that first bit of his verse where he's the flow is crazy, I'd probably give it to Drake. Coming in number two is Ludacris. It actually is Ludacris. Of Ludacris' album Theatre of the Mind. It's the song called Last of a Dying Breed. The beat was crazy. Luda went first, aggressive and very energetic vocals. The chorus was mad as well. It was like basically it's almost like a wrestling back and forth type of thing Wayne went with the second verse and Wayne's verse was hard I ain't gonna lie but of all these songs what this song is the most that with the punchline crazy Ludacris was going punchline crazy because that's what he's known for and Wayne of course he's known for the punchlines and that's what we were hearing all through the song Ludacris killed it on the third verse as well I probably have to say Ludacris got one up on Wayne here it was a fantastic collaboration and then coming in number one is Jay-Z, Mr. Carter of Wayne's classic Carter 3 album. For me, this wasn't the best performance from Wayne. There was a lot of nice little lines, a bit cheesy lines as well, particularly the, there's a part in the verse where he's caught talking about the seasons. Somewhat corny at times, but still it was an epic, epic collaboration. We all looked forward to this one on the album. Jay-Z came on his verse, just flowing like smooth like Jay-Z do with lyricalness, with mad lyrics. I like the part where he started comparing himself to the legends like the Marleys and the Marcuses and Biggies and all that. That was really cool. I think Wayne, hearing Jay-Z's verse, must have thought, wow, I've just been killed on my own song. Because Wayne then added a little few bars at the end after Jay-Z. But overall, the song was a classic, wicked song. But Jay-Z definitely got the one up on Lil Wayne. But there you have it for my list. Top five rappers that collaborated with Wayne at Wayne's peak. But let me know what you think about this list. Do you agree, disagree? What epic songs would you put in this list? Leave a comment below, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. 
It's Fresh Hip Hop Opinion. Peace and love.